Welcome to Queen the Greatest, a year-long celebration of the most extraordinary songs, performances and achievements from Queen's story so far. This week, we revisit a song that would become not just one of Queen's greatest hits, but also one of the most recognisable tracks in rock history. It is, of course, We Will Rock You. We Will Rock You was written by Brian May for the band's 1977 News of the World album, and there was a specific gig that inspired its creation. Bingley Hall. We played this great hall in the Midlands, and it was heaving. You know, those gigs that you love, it's all sweaty and hot, the atmosphere's great. Everybody's jumping up and down, making a noise. And what they were doing was singing along. She's a killer, queen, gunpowder, gentlemen, dynamite with a laser beam, guaranteed to blow your mind. In those days, it was really new, I have to tell you. You just didn't go to concerts where people sang to rock bands. But on this particular occasion, they didn't stop. And when we went off stage, they sang, you'll never walk alone to us. I think I'd gone to sleep thinking, well, what can an audience do? What could you ask them to do? They're all crammed in there. They can't do much, you know, but they can stamp their feet, they can clap their hands and they can sing. And now, especially for Queen the Greatest, Brian shares with us how this iconic song came to life and what it has come to mean to him. That was an extraordinary gig. And I've, you know, until that point, we'd never seen that much audience participation. So yes, we wanted to speak to our audience and tell them that they were part of us and we wanted them to be involved. We wanted to accept their involvement. And I could hear stamps in my head. I could hear the claps, I could hear that beat and I, I don't really know where it came from, but I was looking for simplicity and I was looking for connection. And I remember them being all crammed in and they could hardly move. It was really packed jam. And they could stamp uh, and they could clap. And I also had in my head the sound of a gig which we did in Boston, Massachusetts years ago in the old Boston Garden, which was an enormous place, all made of wood. So when they clapped and stamped there, it was a stupendous noise. So I wanted to hear that kind of noise on the record. So that's another inspiration, if you like. The third inspiration is yes, what am I trying to say here? And it just kind of came to me that, that we were all part of this scenario where we're all young and full of enthusiasm. We think we can change the world and we get out there. We will rock you. We will rock you means we will change the world. And we feel like we can do it when we're young. Buddy, you're a boy, make a big noise, playing in the street, gonna be a big man someday. You got mud on your face, you big disgrace, kicking your can all over the place. And then the second verse is about, you know, we get to middle age and we get our power. We actually, we're not kicking a can around the street anymore. We're out there fighting. And some of us actually physically fight, some of us fight um, with words, with campaigns or whatever. But I felt this, this is the middle verse. It's when you have your power and you've got blood all over your face because you actually are involved. You don't have mud anymore like when you were a kid. Buddy, you're a young man, hard man, shouting in the street. You're gonna take on the world someday. You got blood on your face, a big disgrace, waving your banner all over the place. And then the third verse was looking ahead to when you get old, what happens when you get old and all this stuff has kind of blown over and you stand there and you think, well, what happened? Did I change the world? What happened? Who am I? And, and, and what is the world to me now? Buddy, you're an old man, poor man, pleading with your eyes, gonna make you zombie someday. You got mud on your face, big disgrace. Somebody better put your bag into your place. And it seemed to me, you know, I was a young man when I was writing. It seemed to me like when you get old, you have to learn acceptance. You have to find your peace in the fact that you did what you could. But actually, the world didn't change that much. And you have to function within that realization. And it turned out to be true because I'm an old man now, you know. <laughs> um, I'm past my three score years and 10. So this is all bonus time. And that's how I do feel. And acceptance is a hard thing to find. I still have my kind of childish belief that I can do stuff. I still have my anger, but I have to learn the acceptance that there's only so much I can do. I would like to leave the planet knowing that I just made a little bit of difference to the amount of decency that there is in the world. Um, 
not sure I can do that, <laughs> but I'm still trying. So that's in a nutshell, <laughs> is what We Will Rock You is about. In the next Queen the Greatest, we'll continue our celebration of We Will Rock You with Brian sharing some secrets behind the song's legendary guitar solo. We will rock you. Buddy, you're a boy, make a big noise, playing in the street, gonna be a big man someday. You got mud on your face, you big disgrace, kicking your can all over the place, singing We Will we